All right, guys, well, another day, another dollar. We're in here. Pulled this thing in here this morning. I just wanted to yank the plugs out of it to check it. And the first plug I yanked out, not looking good. Look at that. Oh, my God. Those all look good. The rest of them look good. First one on this side. Then you come over to this side over here. And it is. This one looks good. Looks good. Missing something. Third one back on this side. I'm gonna do a compression check to see what's going on. I knew in that burnout in that last video, I didn't feel it inside the car. I didn't hear it on the burnout or nothing. But I knew inside the car it didn't feel right. Like I, inside. I knew outside when I done the video last night, it didn't sound right. In the car, I felt something towards the end of the run, but I was all right at the end of the run. So like I said, we got two of them bad. So it didn't do too bad to run 540s on uh, six cylinders. At 130, but that's our horsepower there. That's why we ain't got no boost. So let me get my uh, first check out. Hopefully it all checks out well. I don't have to put a motor in this thing right now. We ended up, we had 90 pounds on the front hole that burnt, 130 on the next one. I'm sure the rest of them will be 130. <clears throat> and then this one's 110, so we could definitely got two hurt holes. So we're going to yank the motor out probably Sunday, and I'll check out. Hopefully the block ain't hurt or whatnot. I might run a bore scope down it and just check. But I guarantee you we nip the piston on it. All right, guys, well, it's Sunday. I'm now here to shop a little bit. I told Neil Martin and I'd get this thing painted for him this week for the track. They had a little mishap with their trailer the other week. Tore the bumper up on the car. So I, I luckily, I already had this bumper. I got off Anthony Ballard. So I just donated it to Neil Moore. They said they're going to come out and run Adam Green with it. So I'm like, I'll throw some paint on it for you. So I come down here, just got it sanded up. We're about to go out here and put it in the paint booth. You know how I get down right there on that little thing right there? It's not too bad of a windy day. Too much dust in there. We're going to get this thing painted here shortly. Let's see what it turns out like. All right, now well, we got her wiped down pretty good. Some paint on this thing. All right, guys. Well, since we don't know the history of this paint, we got some sealer primer. And that way we can lock all this stuff in. That way you don't have to worry about it uh, peeling and stuff like that, having a chemical reaction. We just seal off what was there. If I knew what brands it was or I was using the same brands, I could just paint over it. But not knowing, it's just easier to just go on and seal this thing off with some primer and then lock everything in so it'll it'll bond good. I'll show you all this too. This paint gun right here, Harbor Freight, $17. I already had this regulator from before and the little filter deal. I went and bought this gun the other day. And I, everything I paint, like this go-kart over here, you look at the paint on this thing, she shines pretty good. See that, the paint that's on that bumper? The paint that's on that car. I'll show you something though right here, watch this. So the paint on this car, I painted this thing with a gun just like this, probably the sister of this one. I usually, I call them throwaway guns. I buy them and I set reflection. Let me show y'all something. Set reflection. I borrowed a nice gun and painted this. See that wing? See how, it's, see how it is? Look. I borrowed a nice gun and painted that wing from the body shop next to me. There, this. Look at the difference. That was with an expensive gun. That was with a cheap gun. See the difference? It doesn't matter what gun you have. It's what you know how to use. I know how to use a cheap gun because I've painted with a cheap gun my whole entire life. I've always had a pretty cheap gun, so... I know how to use these cheap guns. I don't know how to use them expensive guns. 
you can uh hold on you can take the best gun in the world and give it to a person that don't know what they're doing and you're gonna get a quality job of someone that don't know what they're doing you can take a cheap gun that somebody knows what they're doing or knows how to use that gun and you can get a decent paint job out like i said i paint outside no worries i'll make that thing look good just like i did that just like that car in there they're all painted outside because like i said i know my gun i know how to use my gun because it's a cheap gun i've always used with so i know how to work around using a cheaper product and getting a quality job out of it so like i said don't be scared to pick up a paint gun and learn to paint something would you look at that color everybody knows anybody that's my sub knows turn the light on hold on so you can get the effect there she goes anybody that's my my subscriber knows i am a big fan of metallic colors i love how when you spin it it just has a different color a different swirl a different shape man tell me that ain't a pretty color look at that such a pretty color it's gonna look good i love it it's very similar to like my car but blue if you look at it all the flake and all that i really really like it it's gonna look good i'm gonna let it dry for a little bit and then we're gonna, uh throw some base on it you always want to come out here this stuff right here i touch something like this because it ain't it don't matter you see i can touch it's tacky it's dry i mean it's not tacky it's dry so we can throw some paint on this thing it dried pretty quick that harder worked real well let's throw some paint on first coat i mean, there's a little spot right there i should have sanded it a little better but i'll get it put on here pretty thick and there was some spots right here you only see it from this direction where the other clear had a couple spots but i think by the time i put the clear on i think it'll hide it on in a couple of neat snacks but it's going on a race car so it don't really matter but like i said i just noticed there was a couple spots there used to be a run in the bumper so it throws a different shade on that but we're gonna make it look as good as possible not real happy with the way this clear is laying compared to what my normal clear does i'm having to really lay the paint on it I mean, it was slick but i still i shouldn't have to be painting so hard to get it to be like yeah because there's some little imperfections and stuff that it ain't hiding like my normal clear does so i'm gonna go through and i'm gonna thin it out on the next one and see what it comes up with i thin it out and i ain't gonna lie to you it caught me off guard look at that i got a little run right there i'm trying to let it lay down right now but i damn i, I wasn't expecting it when i come out here to start spray i started on that side i, I thin it out when i thin it out that thing just throws the clear out of it so looks pretty good overall I had, like, so I had a spot right here so I went ahead and let it run I made it run on off we'll wipe it like that and I had that little spot right here because this was the side I hit it and I said "Ooh!" and I come back I said damn but I wasn't I wasn't anticipating how much the paint was coming out the gun that quick but it's gonna look good All right, guys, there she is. We're going to let it dry for a little bit. That run laid itself down pretty good. Plus, it's on the bottom side of the bumper, so you ain't going to notice it. But like I said, it, it turned out pretty decent for your boy to be painting outside. We're going to let it sit here and dry. I'm going to take it to him here in just a little bit. Drop it off. It'll look good on a race car. All right, guys, well, I went ahead and pulled the pan off this thing. I, my, my two or not to go to the machine shop was that this thrust band right here had spun again. You see that little line right there where the bearing is? If it's spun, it's sure to heck is in line. So I am freaking cool with that. We get a, uh, it looks good. Don't like the bearing has spun at all. Like it ain't war neither. I know I can tell if it's war is going like this, it's picking this up and down. You would hear it clunk. Like it would, uh, which, well, I don't know about that. I'm gonna have to. It would be right here. I would feel it clunk when it rolled up on that flywheel. It would go clunk, 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 clunk. So I'm gonna put a bar on it just to check. But I'm gonna pull that one piston out just to see uh, see how bad it is. We'll go from there. Man, I checked that thing with a bar, and that's uh, she's perfect. Makes my day. Like I said, there ain't no play in it, so we we got good on that. So let's get this piston out here. See if we can't buff this thing up, Turbo John style. It took a beating around the edge of it. 
I think we can sand this thing out. As long as there ain't no metal, I'm gonna stick a magnet to it, make sure there ain't no metal beat down in that. If there is, we're gonna have to dig it out because it'll make a hot spot. But there's plenty of meat there, spot there. I think we can save this piston. Let's see if we can't make it to the track Thursday. Well, on my way back from Nigel's, hit it with a whiz wheel, knocked down the high spots, buffed it on out. Got it looking decent. It's not gonna be bad. I'm uh happy as looks as good as it does. So uh we ended up uh took the heads of Bob Lane's machine shop to go through and get them to uh resurface the head and check that one valve or check that one cylinder to make sure all the valves are seated and all so they'll have it done tomorrow. Nigel's ordered me gaskets, so they'll be here. I'll get the motor back together and get it in get it stuck together or whatever, get everything bolted back on it. Jason went ahead and ordered a uh, injector cleaning machine. He bought one, so that way we can check injectors and know, like I done some work and just had him, instead of paying me, just go through and uh, just buy the machine. That way we won't have this issue no more. I should have, over the winter, I should have drained the, the E85 out of the car. I should have went ahead and took and put 93 or non-ethanol fuel in it and ran it on it and made sure that everything was good and that way it wouldn't have had this issue but we were racing pretty much up into the winter and it was only just a little period of time that it set so now i would go in there and crank it up so i didn't think it was going to affect it but now we know i didn't want to try out the fuel line so i didn't just pull them out and soak them like i should like i could have but the easiest solution would have been to just drain the fuel and put some 93 in it and fired it up on it. But like I said, you never know when there's a race going on in my family. So it kind of uh, kind of messed me up on this. But I'm glad it ain't as bad as it could have been. Like I said, two head gaskets, a little bit of work, resurfacing the head. The biggest thing I'm happy about is that I had to pull it out. I was able to look at that thrust bearing and see that the thrust bearing ain't spun. Because that, just not knowing drove me crazy. I was worried that we stick a thrust bearing in and it wouldn't hold and I was in there just tearing stuff up and not realizing it. So we'll get it all patched up, get it took care of. And like I said, from now on, I'll have a, a injector flow machine so that way I can flow the injectors and check them and see that everything is good and maybe we can stop from having any issues like this before we have it. All right, guys, well, we got the piston back in. She ain't the prettiest. Got the motor set back down in the car. I, uh, my head's are at the machine shop, like I said previously. So, uh, Kevin Honey Badger said he has EV1 injectors like me, so uh, I'm gonna borrow his injectors Thursday if the injector or cleaning machine don't get here. My head gaskets should be here tomorrow because Nigel ordered them today, overnighted them, and the head should be back tomorrow. So I should be able to get this thing back to going at least by Wednesday, we'll hear this thing fire up, make sure everything's good on it. And then Thursday, for that list you know what time it is you know what time what time is it it's boost is my friend time son we coming thursday we ain't missing this one not unless something happens and lord willing if i'm here we racing thursday i was going to like this episode right here tune back in tomorrow i should have some more for you please like share subscribe and comment i'll see you one later thank you